Surrounded by lush green rainforests, picturesque waterfalls, and Sri Lankan culture, mixed with Buddhist philosophy, here begins a great journey of an iconic cup of Ceylon tea. There is magic in its fragrance, a solace in its taste, and the laden moments vanish somehow into space. The world becomes lovely. There's beauty as you'll see, all because you consume a cup of tea. A historic day in early 1991 witnessed a major turning point of the family business when a renowned rubber planter made a crucial decision to step into the tea industry. Atu Korla Tea, the one and only factory to be built from the scratch and with brand new machinery in the middle of a beautiful village in Pitigala, surrounding an unspoiled environment of southern Sri Lanka. When the first hint of morning sunlight rises over the lush green blanket of southern rainforests, workers at Kurnduwatta estate line themselves up to pick two leaves and a bud. From a widespread blanket of dew-kissed fresh green leaves, carefully selected, best quality tips being picked up to bring you that mesmeric taste of Ceylon tea. Delivered to the factory, leaves are placed on withering beds to start the tea making process by reducing the moisture naturally. Once the moisture is reduced, leaves are rolled and twisted to perfection to bring out the natural essence within them. Then the leaves are fermented to naturally enhance the main qualities of color, strength and liquor of tea due to natural enzyme reaction inside the leaves. Fermented leaves are then fired, conserving its character, highlighting the zests within and extracting its refreshed qualities, preparing it for your cup. Finally, tea is sorted using the latest technology, ensuring the most accurate grading of every single potion, from leaf to tip. Among the wide range of unique types of tea available at Atukorla, varieties such as flowery and chakra denotes the craftsmanship and the creativity of Atukorla tea. Being a house for staff over 150 and a leading job provider in the area, the journey has not been difficult because Atukorla has been a well-established business brand due to the fame achieved in the rubber industry since 1972. ISO 22000-2005 HACCP ETP CQC Star Award hold witness for the level of quality and standards maintained at Atukorla Tea in a journey that continues to unfold with many more achievements along the way. An industrial giant using modern technology, Atukorla Tea still focuses on maintaining the quality and the standards in the natural ways of making tea. The uniqueness of our tea is mainly due to its majority being our own leaves. Hence the attention since those little plants start emerging on our very own soil at Kurnduwatta Estate. Relying mainly on sustainable agricultural practices, our leaves are born from the purest soil and breathe the cleanest air. Ceylon citronella grass, or the locals call it Pagirimana, is the secret behind the purest soil. Pagirimana is the main soil rehabilitator where no artificial or chemical ingredients are used in plantation. Walking hands held with the latest technology, Atukorla tea is also fostering an enormous nursery of tea plants using clone technology. Through these clones produce top rated tea types such as high quality and rare varieties of golden tips. A complete tea manufacturing experience 
A quite rare experience for one to have. Kurnduatta Villa, a luxury resort villa owned by Atukorla Group, is located in Atukorla Tea Factory premises, offering you that one thing you have yearned for long. Following the concept of tea tourism, Kurunduatta Villa promises to provide tourists a comprehensive and an interesting package which you would fall in love with. One that will have you loving the whole experience. The little spaces in time, created by tea time rituals, calls out to be filled with conversation. The first sip moistens the lips and throat. The second shatters the loneliness. The third causes the wrongs of life to fade gently away from recollection. The fourth purifies the soul. The fifth lifts you to the realms of the unwinking gods. This is the story of Atukorlati.